Hey guys, Patrick here. Don't know if you know this, but WooCommerce 2.2 was just released about 12 hours ago or something like that. Uh, there's lots of cool stuff in it, but one of the things that I'm most excited about are refunds. So we've done a lot of stuff internally to make sure that refunds are automated uh, and they're just easy, easy to do. So even though you don't want to do a lot of them, when you do, hopefully they're fast. So by default, uh, PayPal and Simplify Commerce have automated refunds included with them. And then also Stripe has refunds. So I'm going to show you guys how to do a refund if you have to. So I have my little test store set up here. It's got WooCommerce 2.2 and Stripe conveniently 2.2. That just happens to be a coincidence that they're both the same number. But let's go ahead and add this to my cart. Check it out. Proceed to checkout. Name, address, state, yada, yada, yada. So I'm checking out with Stripe here. Place the order. There it is. Now, if we go to the back end here and check out the orders page, that's us. We just placed this just a minute ago. Yep. And here it is here. Now, this interface is totally redone here. There's this little new nifty refund button. And if you press that, this little, I guess, window pops up. And you can put in any refund amount you want. So I could refund the entire $5, or if you wanted to, you could give them half off for whatever reason. So let's just say I want to give them the whole thing. A $5 discount, and I'm just going to say, you know, if the customer, you know, customer purchased the wrong product. Now this manual um, will basically, uh, I'll show you on the next screen. It'll show up here as a refund, but it doesn't do anything through the payment gateway. This, if your payment gateway supports it, uh, this little button will pop up, and you, if you press this button, it'll be refunded through the gateway. You don't have to log in or do anything. Before I press this button, I just want to show you guys what's happening in Stripe here. So I have my test dashboard set up under payments. We just received this $5 transaction right here. Now, I could, of course, if I wanted to, go in and refund it myself, but that's a pain in the butt. So going back to the orders, press this, refund, $5. The page asks you if you want to, you know, confirm. And you press OK. There it is. All right. So you'll now see there's this product and there's a, a new, it's not a product, but it's a, a refund note here. Refund the time and the reason and the amount and then the, all of the totals down here. So it looks like it's done everything. If I go back to Stripe and refresh this payments page, there it is. Now it says it's refunded. So Stripe never charged that card or they charged it and then, and then put the money back. So that's how easy it is to do refunds in WooCommerce 2.2. So, you know, happy refunding.